hi guys welcome back in the course so far we are going very good in previous lectures we have created this form we can now insert data into the table and we can also display that data here but now how can we delete a record if you want you can see all the links are coming here with the each of the record so simple as that is just we will go and we will use a logic which is the ID of that user so you will first of all create a variable which we, we always can create a variable with this question mark in PHP and this is either called URL variable or get variable I mean the data from this variable we can get using the the get method the get global array or global variable as I already have told you that so you will create uh, get variable with the name delete and this will be equal to this will be actually equal to this user id basically this user id so how i can echo that user id here simply php start and php close and now here i will echo that user underscore id that's it very simple nice so each the link we click this URL now has become dynamic and each the link we click that will have its specific ID specific user ID so we cannot delete any any other person only that person whose link we will click Just come here I have set the page refresh the I will refresh it no when I when I click this uh, just mouse over here on this delete just observe here in this corner you will see the ID will be 1 form.php question mark delete is equal to 1 delete is the name of the variable the URL variable that we just created and the value is 1 2 3 4 5 that's really nice logic you can use to delete a specific ID now when this link is clicked we will actually run a function here I mean a PHP block first of all we'll say if a set not post but get this time we'll say if delete get delete is actually set or click then just run this piece of code this whole piece of code first of all we will get the delete underscore id we created a local variable with the delete underscore id and said get the value from the url whatever value this delete this delete get variable has whatever value it has just get that and pass it to the local variable delete underscore id so if someone has clicked the id number one it will take and give us ID number one or if someone has clicked this five that will take the five ID and will give us and we have saved that here in the delete underscore ID that's it really nice simple now we'll say we'll create just a simple uh, variable delete that will be equal to we will write a query the delete query here we'll say delete from users now this is very important we say delete from users okay that's fine but if you if, if we don't give any more instructions here in the query then it will delete all the users at once we have to actually specify this the users who which we want to delete basically so we, is, we will use where condition where user underscore ID is equal to this ID which is coming just coming through out this local variable in the get this one I'm talking about we said okay delete from users but look or see where user ID is equal to this specific ID so only delete that person not anyone else now we'll say run run delete is equal to mysqli underscore query and we say connection and connection is the database connection and delete is the reference for this that's it now we'll say if 
if run delete has executed we need executed then simply say something like uh, echo now here we will use javascript script take then closing script take you can use javascript anywhere in the page or even in the php echo statement and we will pop up an alert here in that alert in the single quotes in the javascript alert we will say a user has been deleted that's it and we will actually echo again and again we will use javascript to refresh the page so we cannot actually delete more users or we will just refresh the page using window dot open command in javascript this needs two parameters the one is the address address is the same form dot php and the second is the target the target will be uh, underscore self underscore self means when this window dot open this will open a new window but it in the same window self window and will redirect the person to this form dot php which is basically the same page so they will not uh, came to know that what is going on basically so this is the simple script uh, for deleting a user now it should work fine because we are getting again i will just uh, tell you something that i have created a variable get variable and i have assigned that is equal to i have assigned uh, an id to that which is this one coming from the database dynamically here using the while loop and after that i said if that is clicked so in the url here in the url we will we will have a dynamic id this one because this is a dynamic link so we said get that and save in the uh, delete underscore id local variable and then we have run a we have written a query delete delete from users where user id is equal to user id then run delete mysql id query and that thing is just simple save all press the page now i will click this five number id tom and i clicked see here nothing happened nothing nothing just let me check what is the problem basically oh sorry there is no user id only id this is the mistake i have just found because you can see here we have just given only id to this field not user id id is equal to delete id now it's fine it's okay you know you sometimes make silly mistakes now let's go back press the page again and now i'll click this tom and a user has been deleted you can see the pop up the pop up is here a user has been deleted i say okay and the page has been refreshed and the user tom has gone and from the table as well just browse it and one person has gone now if i say another one tom a user has been deleted okay another has gone has been deleted and there are only three records now i can delete one more you can see only two are there and only two here that is the beauty of php where you can do many things easily from the user interface so now this was the delete script in the next video i will teach you how basically you can update data in table using the simple interface stay tuned